right off the bat. There we go. There we go. Welcome back, fishing friends, to another adventure. Hey guys, I'm here at the worldwide headquarters of Casual Observations, home of the Pinhook Fishing Club. And I just got to say, thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, hey, thanks for stopping by as well. Appreciate all the support. So today I'm going to talk about uh, some new uh, items I got in, some orders, and uh, some updates on some things. And I just came back from my trip to Spain, which was great. And uh, had a lot of fun over there over the Thanksgiving break. Now getting settled in uh, for the Christmas break. My name's Alan, and this channel is primarily a fishing channel, but I cover all kinds of stuff. So you're welcome to hang out, and I appreciate everyone dropping by. Hope everyone enjoys uh, their Christmas celebrations and all that good stuff. And uh, hopefully you get all kinds of great gifts. Okay, so a couple of orders that I got in. I got in some little dippers from Reaction Innovations. This is a the Gunnersville Shad. So I've got some of the bigger ones and I've had some good success on them. So I'm switching to these little guys. Give them a shot. I also got my Hammer Time Bass Assassin Elite Shiners in. Looking forward to using those. I picked up another Booyah Pad Crasher. And then I haven't really tested these out, used them very much. It's these Rapala Countdowns, and this one's a three, I think. And I'm going to give that a shot this summer. So I'm starting to get things stocked up for the spring and summer. And uh, definitely going to use this one for trout fishing. also picked up some, some of these Strike King Watermelon Red Flake Senkos. Those were... Couldn't resist those, those were marked down. And then a couple spoiler shads from Cream. And then a little Strike King spinner bait. This one's gonna be for some crappie in the spring. I'm gonna give those a shot and uh, see how those go when I go fishing up in Oklahoma this spring. And of course in the summer. So that's uh, some of the stuff I picked up. I also got marked down was a Lou Speed Spin 100. It was the only one left, and it was a display model, and so it was out, and I tested it, ran it through its paces, everything worked, and the guy said, you know, we'll give you uh, an additional 30% off. I was like, heck yeah. So that's going to replace the Cast King Sharky 2 or 3, I can't remember which one I had on there, and uh, you'll see that coming up a little bit later in some other videos. The other thing is, uh, trapping guys. I know some of my buddies tune in here from when I did all my squirrel trapping. Hadn't had any issues with squirrels. They're around, but they hadn't been hanging around uh, the place here. I've seen them in a few blocks over and some different places, but they hadn't really been any causing any trouble here. The one thing I did see coming home two nights ago right in front of me, coming through the alley here, was a rat that ran right in front of the truck and disappeared into my neighbor's backyard so I've got to get some uh, traps set for the rats I have trapped three before using those big t-rex traps so I need to get those deployed the other thing is I'm gonna to try to do is maybe order a couple of weasel boxes and uh, use those to set for the rat traps that way I don't catch uh, you know we got stray cats and things in the neighborhood and uh, junk like that and dogs and People are walking them and they don't know that I've got some traps set here. You'd think people wouldn't be walking their dogs down through the alley, but they do. And I set them under our trash bins, uh, the traps there. And so, um, you know, I, I just don't want anything that shouldn't get trapped in there, get trapped in there. But anyway, all right, let's keep moving. Uh, let me move this stuff out of the way. Okay, guys, let me get into this little field pack here. 
This is filled with all kinds of goodies. This I picked up in Spain. It's a Muela 9 inch bushcraft knife. It's a Muela pointer. And the blade on it I think is 4.75 inches. And it's got this pack of wood handle on there which is phenomenal. And this thing is just epic. I put it through some of its paces. Sadly I didn't record any of that. It's got this nice leather sheath. All right guys, I'll get you a little close up on this. It's a full tang and this thing is just phenomenal. Can't feel where those insets are. It's got a great grip on it. It's got good weight. Smooth. I never had a pack of wood handle the uh, knife before. But this thing is amazing. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to make a, a lanyard for this one. Here's a little close up on the leather sheath. Good stuff. So I'm really happy with this purchase. I got it in. I'll put some pictures in some of the blades that were in some of these stores around Toledo. I looked at two or three stores and I went into one which is right off this little town square and uh, I said you know what that's it. I saw it hanging up there it wasn't really hanging it was like on a display up there up on the wall uh, like set in set in up on the wall and I was thinking man I gotta get that so I had the guy take it down and you know me being American he was kind of looking at me and you know, wondering what I was up to and how I knew about this and I was asking him different questions if he had any more and he had a couple more but I really like this one the other ones were different styles for like skinning and different things and uh, I gotta try to clean that up just a little bit it had a sticker on here when I purchased it and I took it off and it's just a little bit of residue but I have used it before and this thing is super sharp so I knew I was going to get it. Didn't have to haggle with a guy on price. The price was perfect. And in terms of euros and the conversion to dollars, in all with everything, I wound up purchasing it for about 70 bucks. So I was happy with that. Then I looked at a couple of full-length swords and blades and things. And I knew, <laughs> you know how it is. You get stuck in there. You start looking around at everything. But um, and coming back through through uh, customs, it wasn't a big deal. I just um, it was in a bag, it was in a box, a Muella box, had the paperwork with it. It was wrapped. They wrapped it for me, and they put a note on there that this is a gift. And I just put it in my suitcase. It would you know was checked through, and nobody even asked or cared in anything about it. When I flew, when I landed here in Dallas, picked everything up, no big deal. So it was pretty cool to be able to get a nice knife like that all right so one more to the collection so I'm real excited about this knife and it's got a just great agronomics on it the handle everything is just phenomenal Let's see if I can get this in here without causing any issues so Spain is known for its Spanish steel and I picked this up in a town that's famous for making swords and blades clear back to the Middle Ages and that is in Toledo Spain or we would say Toledo so I got that for a good price nice leather sheath it's got the Muela logo on it and uh, very satisfied with it so just to remind everyone of the full collection so I've got a kept part from the PKS crew, Dave Canterbury's crew, the, and I use this one quite a bit. It's got a nice little lanyard on there, and of course you guys have seen me with this one, my little neck knife, the Condor Mini Bush Lure, and I've got one in here that comes in this little pouch it's an elk ridge 
This one's pretty nice. I don't use it that often. It used to be my big time fishing blade. Ooh, let me get the condor out so you can kind of see it. Yeah, I put this one through its paces too. A lot of usage. And let me see what, any other goodies in here. Oh yeah, folding lock blade. This one's from Toledo. Sadly, it doesn't have a manufacturer's mark anywhere on it. This one I've had since I was a kid when I lived in Spain. Get this one back in. All right. So there's one more that I need to grab. All right, guys. So here we go. The other one is this Ranger Grip 78. It's got this little leather carrying case. This thing I absolutely love. Take it with me in the truck. So it's usually in the truck, but it also goes with me for fishing when I'm out there. If you've never picked one of these up, go for it. I like it because it's got the little screwdriver head. I think it's the 79. It's got the corkscrew, but I prefer this one. It's got a cool little leather pouch here. All right, I'm not a big knife collector, but I do have some of these that I use from time to time when I'm out there fishing all summers you guys know I'm up in Iowa quite a bit for the summers and you always got to have blades around so I'm excited I picked up this Muela so the collection is small but it's you know it's getting there the only other one I want to pick up is a Mora Garberg I think it's tough to decide between the stainless or the carbon steel but that's going to be the next one. I thought about getting a PKS Scorpion, but this Kephard, I'm kind of a traditionalist. I like this one, and uh, it's fantastic. All right, guys, that's going to be it. I just want to give you a quick little update on what's been going on around here. Well, it's going to go fishing today, but this cold front came through, and it is super windy. So maybe tomorrow I'll be able to get out there. I'm going to throw some night crawlers, and uh, even though we're down in Texas... Things are a fish a little bit lethargic, but uh, we'll see what we can come up with. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye-bye.